everybody and welcome to a guide on how to set your encoding settings on OBS Studio. So I'm running OBS Studio here currently and I'm just going to show you the quick settings that you're going to want to use for your encoding. Now this is not a guide on how to use OBS, it's not a guide on how to record or how to set your scenes or anything like that or how to capture games. So this is just simply um, a quick tip on how to set your encoding settings for your video. So obviously you want to go to your output and this is for local recording. So you're going to go to recording and then here you want to set it to recording format to MP4 and your encoder, if you're on an NVIDIA card, is going to look like mine. It's going to say AMD Advanced Media Framework H.264 encoder. Um, it's going to say something a little bit different if it's NVIDIA, um, but it'll definitely be there. And then also along with it will be the X264. Now, difference between X264 and the uh, AMD or NVIDIA one is that X264 just uses your processor whereas the um, H.264 encoder uses both your processor and your video card so it's way less tanky on the frame rate and overall it's just a lot better. Uh, now down below you're going to want to set your quality preset to balanced, your profile to high, and you want to set your rate control method to uh, constant QP. So that's just going to basically let it do whatever it needs to do to get the quality and then you want to have your iframe and P frame set to somewhere around 18. Um, I have it set to 18, that's what's good for my computer, what my computer can handle, although you guys may need to play around with those settings and set them a little bit higher if your computer is not as beefy or a little lower if you want to get more quality. I personally find that this is the best kind of quality settings and yeah, so when you get this footage it'll be pretty big, roughly uh, one gigabyte per minute of video, give or take, actually more like half a gigabyte per minute of video. Um, so yeah, you're definitely, your video files are going to be up in the 20s, 30s, 40s in terms of gigabytes. And so yeah, that's that. And you're going to set your keyframe interval to zero and click apply and you're done. Um, so yeah, that's just the settings that I find work well for me. If they help you out, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you guys later.